Back to our top story now. Developing at this hour, crews are still going through debris after a large candy factory exploded in Redding. And we've now learned that more victims have been found. Our Howard Monroe is at the RM Palmer factory where that blast happened. He has the very latest update on this search. Howard. Jan, we learned moments ago that the death toll rose overnight. The death toll now it stands at five people killed in this explosion. Six people they are still unaccounted for. Now officials they responded to the scene here at the R M Palmer Company at about five o'clock yesterday afternoon. When they got here, they found one building of the company was destroyed and a neighboring apartment building and church were damaged. Seven people were taken to the hospital. We're working now to learn their conditions. The chocolate company was founded in 1948 and employed. 850 people. Borough officials say there is no threat to the surrounding area, but because of the explosion, rail service had to be suspended overnight, but that resumed earlier this morning. Here's West Reading's borough manager. Palmer's has been with us well before I've even been here, and I'm here 30 years, so they're definitely a staple of the borough. Um, like everybody said, our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody involved, and all we do is ask for uh, support and prayers. Now, if you know this area, this is Penn Avenue. Penn Avenue, it is now closed. Only people who are local to that street are able to get down it. Again, officials, they have not said what led up to this explosion. As for the people who live in that apartment building, which is just down the street, it is also not clear when they will be allowed to go back home. We're still working now to get some more information for you in this deadly explosion. But for now, live in West Reading, Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.